the Experience Pros Radio Show, home of the original Fan Bragging Fridays. Take just 20 seconds to become a revolutionary by sharing a Fan Bragging story of great customer service on Facebook.com slash Experience Pros. Now, back to Angel and Eric, the Experience Pros. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Does telling your story so it gets heard, understood, and remembered sometime feel like mission impossible? Oh, I like that. Then Jerry Brown of Jerry Brown PR can help. And Jerry Brown's on the show with us every week at this time, sharing a business tip to help you tell your story. Jerry, welcome back. Thanks. It's great to be here. You, you bet. What's our storytelling tip for, for today? Well, today's tip, I, I call it talking on paper, and it's really about making your writing informal and conversational. You know, we talk to people all day long. You're on the radio for two hours a day. We don't typically have trouble talking to right. people. We sit down in front of a keyboard, and all of a sudden it becomes very difficult. And one of the reasons for that is we try to make it too formal and we think there are all these rules that we have to follow but you know if you're in business most of your writing is really just designed to get the rest of us to buy something sure. or believe something it's persuasion and it's really what we do a lot in conversation um, and we're more likely to be successful at getting people to do those things if we make what we write interesting and easy to read so, absolutely I was actually reading something yesterday or recently this week Jerry and you could tell it was so formal and it really wasn't written to me I, I actually just stopped reading it exactly it, and there's nothing easier than to stop reading something so Jerry you have something you call the seven nevers I do and I wish I could claim that I came up with these on my own I didn't I found them some years ago in a really fun book called uh, writing with style by a guy by the name of John Trimble but basically what he says and I absolutely agree that there are seven rules that you learned in school that you ought to ignore to make your writing better. Ooh, Ooh, rules oh. that we should ignore? So we learn this in school, and this Absolutely. is mistakes that we are probably making every single day. Absolutely. All right, turn up your radio dial. Jerry is going to help you tell your story. I'm breaking and out into hives. Breaking out of these rules. Yeah, and so it's the seven nevers. These are seven things with the word never in front of them. All right. You take the word never off and do them. Oh, you should so do So number them. one is never begin a sentence with but or and. But why? <laughs> and, and Angel has the same question. Exactly. All right. Never use contractions. Never refer to the reader as you. Never use the first pro, uh, person pronoun I. Never end a sentence with a preposition. Never split an infinitive and never write a paragraph containing only one sentence. Now wait a minute. Okay, so, so <laughs> hold on here. <laughs> so these were the nevers we learned in school. Absolutely. And you're saying. We can use these. Absolutely. So I should end a sentence in a but or an and. You can. Uh, or, or begin one. Uh, I, I can uh, use contractions. I can refer to the reader as you because I'm speaking to you. Absolutely. Oh, this makes sense. And I can end a sentence with a preposition. What is yeah. a preposition? You know, I, I will tell you, I've been writing for a living longer than either one of you have been breathing. <laughs> and I have a degree in English. And I want to tell you that I don't know what a preposition is. I had to look it up. I mean, and so people in sentences with prepositions all the time because, frankly, we don't know what they are. But um, they're, they're words like uh, um, to and with and things like that. Like, you know, this is actually Eric's one of the biggest pet peeves of mine because I do end with prepositional. Oh, I, I think most people do, but we don't know we do it because we don't know what they are. But like if I say that's something like if Eric's giving you a hard time, and that's something you won't put up with. Right. Uh, right. That's well, the, something you'll put up with is ending. A sentence with a preposition. Well, now, Jerry, with uh, <laughs> with an article, you've got you've got an article on your blog about this topic. Is that right? That's correct. And that blog is found at jerrybrownpr.com. That's right. Jerrybrownpr. It is now my writing bible. And I I broke five of these rules in the first. Uh, I mean, within the first two paragraphs. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank you for coming in, and uh, Jerry, a final thought. You know, your teachers were well-meaning people. Uh, but uh, they taught you things worth unlearning, and one of the things worth unlearning is the seven nevers. Absolutely. You can reach Jerry Brown at jerrybrownpr.com or at the email address jerry at jerrybrownpr.com. Uh, Give him a call at 303-594-8016. Thank you so much, Jerry. We appreciate you. I appreciate being here. Absolutely. Well, 
I've just learned something. Every day you should. <laughs> you, you, should. you just feel validated. Uh, you know what? He just so, said you could break the rules. He, uh, you know, we did learn some rules in school. And I think um, Jerry Brown, what he's going to help us understand is that the rules aren't what are engaging to our reader. Mm. And if you're writing something that isn't engaging to your reader, you're going to do what I did yesterday, and you're just going to stop reading. And how terrible is that? You spend all this time, this energy, these resources, you put it out there, whether it's on your website, whether it's an article, even if it's just an email. If nobody's reading it, it doesn't matter. Mm. So make sure. Yeah, Jerry Brown, that's my new Bible for reading. I Jerry love Brown it. PR. Like when I'm writing, going there and right. learning all my rules. And you can stop King James Jamesing me. I don't King James you. Yeah, you do. Because when I say, who'd you go in the room with? Oh, there you you say, with whom did you go into the room? Yes. Who dogs like that? King James. And then when we're writing <laughs> commercials and advertisements for our sponsors, mm -hmm. when we read them out loud, Charlie, mm -hmm. our producer, says, use contractions. Yeah, because you don't say, do not go there. Don't go there. I have don't to look at the there. definition of an infinitive now. No, you don't. What? No, you don't. I don't. So, so what was your just, favorite just, lesson for writing your story, getting your story heard, understood, and remembered today? I, I think, uh, actually, it's it's the whole uh, using the pronoun I and, and you uh, to to address the audience, and, and I'm speaking to you. That's really what we do, and, and especially here in in uh, radio, as we, funny, you know, you, you think, well, radio, you're just talking. Well, yes, but somebody has to write uh, a lot of the things that, that the commercials say and so on, and so we have to be able to write so the way we talk. Here's my, here's our business tip from, from Eric and Angel today, yep. is to pick up a copy of lists that saved my business. Absolutely. You can find it on our website. You can find it from our app. You can find it Wait on Amazon. I see that twinkle in your eye. I don't think I like where you're going here. You're going to have to find all the, uh, the, the the errors. You are not I, slow. I can Whoever see. Whoever said you were the slowest knife in the bulb you, drawer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You, the <laughs> slowest knife in the bulb drawer. Yeah, I see that twinkle in your eye. You might be an angel, but boy, there's something else in those eyes today. I bet. If you read it, you can highlight Dug the on. sentences that Eric went through and said, Angel, you cannot, you have to follow all these never rules. He was, uh, he, we had arguments, we had conversations about whether or not one per period, one space or two after the period. We oh, had sentences, we had conversations about beginning the sentence with but or and. We had conversations about contractions. We had a lot of conversations about prepositional phrases. Yes, we did. And I think that our listeners would enjoy going through the book now with just a new set of eyes. I think you need a little preposition age. All right, <laughs> folks, don't go anywhere because when we return, we're going to talk a little bit about branding. You're listening to Angel and Eric on the most positive business talk show in America. The experienced pros are here to help you get your business right. To learn more, visit experiencepros.com.